Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the fifth edition of Anyone Can Code. If you have been following this series, then you must be known to the fact already that I don't expect you to have any prior knowledge of no uh, coding. Also, I am not asking you to do any false subscriptions or may do any purchases. Everything that has been used in this particular video will be absolutely free and can be accessed by anyone, whether it is an exp whether it is somebody somebody who's adult or a child. It is absolutely safe for anyone out there. You just need to have an interest in developing or coding. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Now, another thing that you must be known to the fact that the platform that I am using here is basically code.org and I will add that link in the description, which I have been doing for the last four videos. So I will do that as well in this one. Uh, so let's get started. What are we going to develop today? Okay, so today I have done a little modification to my previous video which was regarding high text functionality on a button click. So in the previous video, we just used the button to hide the text. In this one, we are going to even make a button accessible enough to show that text again. Okay. So if you are not able to understand what I'm trying to achieve here, then just stick together. We are going to implement it and you will love it. Now, the first thing we need to have is a button which will be showing or hiding the text for us. So the first thing we need to have a button which is clickable. Next is a text and that text will be hidden or shown to us accordingly. Right? So without rest wasting any further, we are going to move strictly to the code. Also, I want to add another thing that uh, you guys must be known if you have, if you have not watched my previous videos and this is the first video that you have stumbled upon, then uh, thank you for watching it. But uh, you need to have a clear understanding of what this platform is. How are you going to end up on this particular page or how are these tabs, these buttons, what they do, what are they going to be uh, or how are they going to be useful to us? Everything has been explained in my previous videos. You need to go and check that out. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you have any doubts, still you are not able to, you know, uh, achieve something that you have been trying to, you know, regarding code or regarding functionality, you can just comment that out. If I would be, you know, uh, accessible, in, uh, if I would be able to fix it for you, then I will definitely, definitely do that. Uh, so let's get to the code. Now, as you already can see, I have restored the version I had restored in my previous video. So I will just, uh, you know, uh, place the piece of code that was earlier there. So I will just add a label here uh, and I will name that label as India. Right. And I will just, uh, if you do not understand what are these things, I have explained them. A little overview that uh, all these are basically the property of this label. So whatever changes, whether they are regarding the border color or whether it's regarding the color of the text or font or size, everything you can edit that out and uh, check accordingly how or what is the view that you have imagined for your label so everything can be done here so 30 is the ideal height for uh, ideal uh, uh, you know size of the text that i am trying to aim here so yeah that's fine for me i will also try to change the color to something like blue okay so that uh, yeah okay now i can also show you that uh, these are the fonts that are available in this you can just check them out on your own 
and uh, let me know if you face any difficulties or you're not able to understand anything just comment that out okay uh yeah so now we have our um, uh, you know label here we have the click me button now we need to make the changes to the code i will go back to that and i will add the hide element which you must have been on if you have watched my previous video why am i doing this i will just you know make this particular change to this and check if that is working for me yes it is so i will reset and bring back uh so yeah now i need to have two buttons as we discussed uh so the first button will be used to hide the text which is pretty much you know uh already been done here through this piece of code now we need to do the same thing in order to show that particular element right so uh, let's see how that will be done so what is uh, similar uh, to the previous part of the code is basically the on event uh, uh, function uh, right so I will just drag it and place it here and uh, I will just make the required changes now another thing that we need to have is this on event function is definitely not going to work on this one right uh, so uh, you need uh, it can work but under advanced conditions what I am going to do here is basically I am going to provide it a new button right so let's find out where the button is I will place it on the screen and uh, let's change a little bit of the things here I will play I will just make an identification and give it a num name one so that the second button I can give it a, a name as two right so these are button one and two here now that is done okay so another thing that you need to check out is what is the ID of this particular button so as you can see button two is the ID of this button now what is this ID uh, or uh, why is this used what is the importance of it why am I you know targeting this particular thing then you need to go back to my videos and you will definitely find a better understanding of what is happening here right so don't you forget to you know just uh, get a little quick uh, view of what all these things are that is definitely going to be information for you so yeah uh let's get back to the um, get back our focus to the code now as i want a button two so i need to mention the id as button two right uh so click is uh, fine with me function yeah i will now look for the show element function right so i will just bring the show element function here and uh, now i need to understand what thing i am going to show in here right so basically we are trying to show the same uh, element which is india whose id is label one right we're trying to show the same element back to us right so let's mention its id label one now a code part is done ready right so it was pretty quick thing because we already knew what codes need to be placed in here right some part of the code was reused from the last video so i didn't need to waste my time over there so you need to do a little bit of modification here and it is pretty much ready now let's find out if this thing is working or not and for that i need to press the run button and check the uh, uh you know the code if it is working as accordingly or not right so i will do the button function it hide my text as you can see now let's check this button as you can see my label is back on the screen that means i have achieved the purpose of this particular code right so uh yeah if you are curious of how this particular thing will be done on uh, the same button right if i want to have a same button for doing both the purposes so just stick tight i will soon be uploading that video as well i already have that thing in working uh, right so yeah i will just come back to you uh, just comment down if you want me to upload that very very soon 
and um, let me know if you guys have been liking the series and uh, please share your views if you want me to improve over something please let me know and uh, yeah guys your support is really really important thank you so much bye bye